Welcome everybody to the game you've all been waiting for, Harry Pitfall. <laughs> Just kidding, probably none of you have been waiting for this game. Still, I'm gonna play it, because I like playing games and never finishing old series. Because that's how my life works. I mean, at least that's how my YouTube account works. Anyways, let's start with a new game, and it just froze. Great beginning. Okay, let's go. Ta-da! It's, it's entering, it's loading. <gasps> Look at that face of anger. Oof, versus that other face of anger. We got a fight on our hands. <laughs> That's what I did there. Hands came up and I said hands. Oh, trying to bite the screen, I see. And then, haha, you're never going to beat me. Oh, I'll punch him in the side. And punch him in the side. And a punch. Oh, I got punched. Oh, dog with the ball. Oh, he ate me. But guess what? Punch him. Do da de do 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 da 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 do de da da do da ho sha he ho oh I still got hit da 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 punch no what what hit that hook I punched the little doggy I guess that's a cat not a dog wah oh yeah I got the power to hit you in the face. Killed it. Oof, another one. Yeah. Oh no, his dad. <gasps> Look out, Harry. He's gonna eat your face. No. Oh, too late. Oh. Just shy of the fire. And run away. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> is that about to terminate your existence. Your life flashes before your eyes. Actually, no one says that. Not a lot of people have experience with giant demon jaguars. Probably true. And as of yesterday, neither did I. 24 but that hours was before earlier. I met Bittenbinder. Bernard Bittenbinder, PhD to be precise. Thought we'd get introduced, since the only ones on this plane to South America seems to be you and you my group of Toltec Crystal Skull, and discovered that light when shined through it actually slows down. That research wasn't ever published. Who are you? Harry. Most people call me... <laughs> Pitfall Harry. So you assume I'm like most people. <laughs> what are you doing? This is Turning great. on the charm. This is my... Medium set. Oh. Charm's getting to you, huh? You know, that must have really hurt. She hit like the, um, seat now. Oh. <laughs> Kill him. Where's Nicole? There's only one shoot left! What are you. Let me go! Now you're Mr. Macho? Yeah. A woman while you die for her in the cold night? In the hot night. Ugh. Ah! That's not really weird at all. And then he's just sad because Harry just sent off. Um, yeah. Got rid of their last shoot. And he's dead! Well, the game starts off with an ending. How sad. Nope, nope, he's just snoring. Because he somehow survived a plane crash. And oh, his eyes are messed up. What? No, his eyes aren't messed up? That's weird. I would think that it'd be dead. But, you know, it, it's, it's a game, so I guess it can survive. So, this is our basic Harry. His face. And his punch. And his jump. Like, he has a double jump. That then you can't get up there apparently. He also has sneak and crawl attack or circular. And there's a giant hole in the ground. And the um if you ever actually played the original games, he jumps over holes with vines a lot. What have we here? What is this? And then he just waves his hand around like a crazy person. Yeah. And he grabs it. 
Then you jump up here, and you're like, Hello monkey, punch you in the face. Jump into here with those weirdly animated curtains. They don't seem real at all. Jump- Ah, I killed them all. There's one back here. I have to kill them all. There it is. No, there we go. Honey. Punch the door. Oh no, they're beating up that cage. You know how little sense that makes? Let's beat up a cage. That sounds like a grand hey, idea. How you doing? And you can break the cage with a punch. Give me with my creepy wavy hand. Oh, la, la. Don't tell me this is gonna crash the game. Oh, phew, it didn't crash the game. Healing water. Basically your checkpoint, but not really a checkpoint at all. That's not a checkpoint, actually. That's just healing water. I'm confusing today. Okay, so... Continue. There's this weird, like, broken off wing thingy here, and there's, um... What do you call those? Piranhas, I believe. And there's an engine on... It just happened to end up on this beach with the tree. Didn't kill the tree, though. Crocodiles! Crocodiles are fun to tease. Jump on them. You jump on them, and I fell in the water, and now I'm gonna get almost eaten it. But... You can swim faster than the crocodiles can eat. Because yeah. that's totally dramatic. Dramatically? That's totally realistic. That's what I meant. Not dramatically correct. And you get over here. Catch these things. But that's not destroying nature. That actually isn't destroying nature. That's just destroying the old stuff. And you sneak up to this monkey. Gotta sneak up slowly and then... Hello! Ha <laughs> ha, he gets eaten. So great. They never knew what hit him. Ha <laughs> ha, healing water if you got hurt during that sequence. And what is this? This is a smack him in the face! What do you think he does? He gives you stuff. You start out with seven idols. That's odd. The most useful thing at this early in the game, at least, is definitely health. So I'm just going to use him up on health. Every time you use one, they disappear. So it's not like a black market. It's just down. <laughs> Gotta love his, um, ref, not reference, um, his once-in-a-lifetime parable word that he says every time. Whoops, gotta slide down. <sighs> yeah, and then there's some more healing water, because everyone usually gets hurt this much. More statues to destroy, history to be lost, totem poles to break. Would those be called statues or totem poles, I wonder? Probably just totem poles. And then, haha, crawl under it, because that makes sense. And loading. Poof. Oh, look at that poor thing. Let's sneak up on him, and nope, he's dead. Crawl under that one, jump over that one, and then jump, jump, jump. Jump, 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 you made it. But you can't get back up, so... And then this is your first instance with a enemy. Ha! Missed me. Got him. Basically, if you hit them once, they get up and move to a new bush. If you hit them twice, they're dead. Our first piece of platforming. That was nice. His backpack flies. And there's a tunnel, so you jump over it. Crawl in here and idle. Yeah. Num num. What? Yes, I know how to change the camera position. 
And then if you had the attack, you could just jump down there, but you don't. So there's this guy trapped here. So my map so I can come back later. Poor guy. How did he get behind those spider webs, I wonder? Did he just like fall down a pit and he's like, hmm, this is a good place to rest. Oh, I hate these guys. And I just jumped down a hole. I'm smart. Yes, I know, brother. He was nodding at me like knowledgeably. That was like in unison screaming at me. Blah, 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 blah. Nice cheat in this game is just wiggle your controller back and forth really fast and it pretends like you actually did the work of going back and forth like 30 times. Hey, hey, hey you made it. You got to wonder Any how that survivors? window got broken. The doctor Mr. Leach went off to find the others. Now they took that tank, the Gizmo 85. Yes, a real improvement over the Gizmo 84. Follow the tracks, I'm sure you'll find them. Will you help us locate everyone? I, uh, get to rescue the girl? I suggest you let her think she rescued herself. Here, you might try gathering water from that pond out there. Oh, it's very clean. Tasty it's a pond. Even. I think it may even possess healing properties. And it looks like you could use some healing. Thanks. Then follow those tracks. Me, I've got a fly. <laughs> When I found out that Bittenbinder had survived the crash, I decided I'd follow his tracks to see if I could hitch a ride. I didn't know my choice would ultimately lead me to becoming lunch for a demonic jaguar, so off I went with my new canteen in hand. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna leave the first episode off here. We just, um, almost got shot by a flare gun. That's gotta be an interesting thing. Anyhow, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.